I'm Rachel from 7 and All, and this is the next episode in our series Ask a Homeschool Grad. I am a second generation homeschooler. I'm the oldest of eight kids and my family has been homeschooling for about 26 years at this point. And I know many people are curious about life after homeschool. Not just homeschool in the early couple of years, but what happens next when homeschool is done? And what about homeschool in the high school years? And we are gonna be throwing it back to high school years in this video because I'm interviewing all my siblings and asking them what do you feel were the pros and cons of being homeschooled specifically in high school? All right, for me, the pros of being homeschooled in high school, one very big one was kind of closeness and the ability to spend more time with my siblings. I'm the oldest of all my siblings. There's quite a big age gap between me and many of my younger siblings. Um, so if I had been in high school, I would have been doing my high school years on my own, spending all those years probably just going to a high school by myself, not getting to spend time with my siblings. While instead, I was all in the same room with my younger siblings while we were doing schoolwork together. We had many many fun times <laughs> together, many fun conversations when mom was not observing us and we distracted ourselves and just chit chatted the day away. Um, so I think the sibling relationship bond that we had, that we were able to build just through that time together was a huge pro for me that I wasn't spending my teen years separated from my siblings, but together with them. Um, also a big pro for me, and especially at that time in my life, I was not a very naturally patient person, I learn very quickly. I can move through schoolwork very quickly. I never, I cannot remember ever finishing my schoolwork after lunch pretty much in my entire schooling life. <laughs> I would wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I'd work really hard, get it all done, and I'd be able to spend my afternoons, you know, helping out around the house, sure, but also laying in bed and reading books and eating entire bowls of popcorn that I didn't want to share with my siblings and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And if you were going to a real high school, you would still be in school and then you'd have to come home and do homework at night. So um, the, the lack of necessary time spending in classes was a big um, pro for me. And as far as cons, I think in my specific situation, I don't really see any big cons. I was in high school overseas, so there was no opportunity to even go to a public high school. There was a private high school I could have gone to, but it was very expensive. And to me, it does mean a lot that it's like my parents didn't have to spend a lot of money just so that I could spend all day in school away from my family. <laughs> so for me, I don't, in my, from my experience, there was really no cons of being homeschooled in high school. Um, what do you think were the pros and cons of being homeschooled in high school? I really enjoyed the fact that I had so much control over my schedule. I had things that I had to get done, but I could get them done in my order and the way that I wanted to. I could do my homework on my bed. I could do it at my desk. I could schedule my working hours during times that made sense and I could do my schoolwork at different times. So you just have tons more freedom and you get to choose um, you just get to choose your own way to do things and you get to feel the consequences of those actions. And as a, as a teacher now, I feel like what I've seen outside of homeschool is sometimes students don't really get to have a lot of choice, which means they don't get to feel the consequences of their actions as much. And so I think that that makes learning self-discipline um, and different kinds of skills and characteristics much more difficult. A lot of people say that some cons of being homeschooled are like socialization, but we definitely had tons of friends. I have lots of siblings, so I think all of us got well socialized during during homeschool. So I, I don't even feel like that and that would be the biggest one that people state would be a con for us personally i think maybe if i was the only child never went out to church or to anything then it would be a bit lonely but i feel like it's 
super nice for kids to not have to be social every single day if they don't want to, if they're not extroverts. And it's just a little bit less stressful, especially when you're thinking about middle school, teenage years, there's a lot of hormones, a lot of uh, teasing and stuff that goes on. And I feel like it, it's such a blessing to be able to focus on school, focus on education and not have to deal with all of that other stuff during that time of life. So that's definitely a pro, at least for me and my personality. Uh, what do you think were the pros and cons of being homeschooled in high school? So number one pro, definitely the food. The food was really good, um, I must say. Being the chef, I got to choose exactly what we got to eat, uh, how spicy it was. My family probably hated it. I really liked really spicy food, but I was the one cooking it, so I liked it. <laughs> uh, the cons, uh, let's see. I'm not sure what a con would be. Probably uh, when my mom would find all the homework that I hadn't been doing, and then I would have to basically complete several weeks of homework uh, in a couple days. Usually those days were not very fun, uh, but that's that was on me. I definitely think there are a lot of advantages to being homeschooled, especially with flexibility and independence and being able to have students have their own contributions to their learning and responsibility of their own learning. Um, but I feel like for me, one of the cons um, was that in high school, I didn't really get much practice in writing other than specifically writing for the SAT. And that taught me that writing was a stressful, high stakes thing and it wasn't very fun and I wasn't very good at it. So I think next time around, I would spend a lot more care into creative writing and writing for other kinds of authentic purposes and not just testing. Some of the pros would be that I really had a lot of help um, in teaching me, like my mom taught me, plus also a lot of my siblings uh, helped me out in making sure that I did my work, making sure that I was learning, if I had anything that I was struggling with or really not understanding. They were really helpful in, you know, teaching and explaining anything that I needed to learn. The cons of homeschooling? There are no cons. I mean, look at me. I'm pretty much perfect. I mean, not perfect, but just about. Almost there. But another con for me specifically is that I'm a pretty social person. I really love making friends and getting to get out there and do experiences and fun things. So one thing that I feel like I would have really enjoyed is the social aspect of going, going to a public school and making a lot more friends, maybe being involved in uh, sports or theater and other stuff like that. I would say definitely one of the pros was the free time and flexibility of homeschool. I was able to have um, side jobs and really take the coursework at my own pace, which I think was very helpful for my development and also for um, my own self-led studies in art. One of the cons I would say of homeschooling is specialized areas of study. One of the things that I was really interested in was in art education and both my parents really had had near to none experience in that field and so they weren't really able to like teach me a lot about art education and so most of um, what I know it has been mostly self-taught. And I think that's what one of the cons of homeschool can be is that these extremely like specialized areas of studies can like either be like forgotten or left behind just because, you know, of course you can't cover all bases. Pros and cons of being homeschooled in high school. I think one of the pros is 
definitely that, like, if you're just doing schoolwork and you hear the washing machine go off, you can just go and switch the laundry and you can just stop what you're doing to go help out, help out around the house or go watch your nephews for a little while. And I just really like that aspect of it that you can, you're more free to help people and your parents especially because I feel like my parents have put a lot of work into homeschooling me and I'm really thankful for that. So I just really like it when you can, you hear something and you can go help out straight away. You know, you can just put everything on pause. I don't know if there are any cons. I don't think there are. homeschooling is that, you know, since you're just with your siblings, there's not really any bullies. Um, one of the cons, though, is that I was that bully, though. 